Hi, Larry. Hey, Graham. Hi, my name is Graham Resnick. I'm a filmmaker, writer, director, sound designer, and uh, I started working with Larry Fessenden about 10, 15 years ago through my friend Ty West, who I grew up with and uh, have done a lot of sound design with on his films. And uh, he was producing Ty's films at the time, and uh, Ty introduced me to Larry. Larry produced my first feature, and we've written together on several projects. My name is Larry Fessenden. I'm a filmmaker. I, uh, I run Glass Eye Picks, which is um, an independent production company out of New York. We make indie movies, uh, a lot of scary movies as well. Um, and uh, I got a call to audition to write uh, this video game. And uh, I called my pal Graham Resnick because Graham is a gamer. And um, while I thought I could offer something to the idea of writing this multi-branching story, I knew that I would want Graham's expertise as a lover of uh, gameplay since I guess games were started. So and, and, and just as a lover. That's and as a lover, yes. Which <laughs> is uh, why there's so many sex jokes in the yeah. in the game. <laughs> there was one Italian website that did say the Larry oh, that's right. and Graham Resnick, the two lovers behind <laughs> Until Dawn. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. I am definitely ready to be handled. So um, I wanted Graham by my side. Uh, yeah, and we we got the gig, and it was, it's been an amazing ride. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. This all got out of hand, So in the game, the, the basic setup is that uh, a year prior to the game's start, all these kids had gone up to a, a ski lodge that was owned by the parents of one of the kids, uh, or a couple of the kids, and um, some of the teenagers played a prank on some of the other teenagers, and a terrible tragedy occurred when a few of them, uh, two sisters, ran out into a blizzard, and uh, were never seen from again. <laughs> So now, a year later, uh, this has kind of torn apart this group of friends. They've, uh, they've gone through some trials and tribulations in the past year. The brother of the two girls has uh, had a lot of psychological issues. And, and to kind of help him cope uh, and help them all get over it, they all return to the lodge a year later, back up on the mountain. And uh, the idea <laughs> is to, to get over it, but... Um, the healing does not begin. Does not begin. <laughs> Yeah. And these kids are all trying to find themselves. They've, they've, they've been through a trauma, but in general, they're just teenagers trying to figure out who they are. So they're all kind of falling into the patterns, the, the stereotypes, the, the characters they see on TV and in the movies. I think we were very interested in taking genre tropes and kind of making them uh, sort of refresh them. That? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. We're familiar with how slasher movies work. Uh, you know, most people have seen some horror movies, and we have established notions and preconceptions about the roles of the players in horror movies and how they talk and how they get killed and how they have sex. And to bring you into a game that way and then subvert a lot of those expectations is kind of our, our goal. They're haunted by some incident that happened in their past, which I think you pretty much figure out that that's going to have a role in their uh, in their interaction. <laughs> yeah, so I think what was fun was we take some sort of stock characters and we try to give them some shape, but um, at least at the beginning they're recognizable in the um, in the way of groups of friends. There's, you know, the jock and the yeah. um, and the bitchy girl and the rivalries between everyone and Oh my gosh. Um, and really fun characters too. Like these it's we just had so much fun living in the minds of these characters through writing the writing the script. What do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you know, it was fun. We I think we were looking to get that kind of banter that you yeah. see both in movies, but also that you absolutely have with friends and sort of those inside jokes. And of course, as writers and as friends ourselves, we sort of developed little tracks and we try right. to give the characters that kind of vibe.